Hello and welcome to Automator's Edge, the show that empowers you with the latest control news in automation education. I have some exciting stories to share with you today, but before we dive in, please zap that like button and subscribe so you stay updated on all things control automated. Let's plug in to automation. I wonder what the future will be like in 20 years. Hey, watch it, Orville. He's gonna turn Kitty Hawk into Poochie Hawk. Well, perhaps dogs won't be airborne, but as the race for Industry 4.0 heats up, impossibility will go to the dogs. Bear Electronics is one company up to the 4.0 challenge. Bear recently announced the exciting news that their BCS NX3008 CPU in the Nexto PLC series has obtained crucial UL and DNV certifications. Bayer CPU boasts a 64-bit ARM processor at one gigahertz managing a thousand PID loops in five milliseconds. These specs ensure top-notch speed and performance for industry 4.0 applications, and that provides engineers with a new trusted and safe resource to help design an improbable future even one with flying dogs. Engineering challenges are endless, but one of automation's most difficult obstacles is worker safety. In 2021, the US private industry reported 2.6 million non-fatal injuries and illnesses. So what can be done to reduce that number? Well, to offer a solution, we present our featured product spotlight sponsored by Mauser Electronics. Today we feature Omron Industrial Automation's F3 SG SR Safety Light Curtains. These light curtains are versatile, user-friendly safety monitors with extended sensing range through a high-power optical system and area beam indicator. Accommodating 10 mm to 500 mm gaps, they're 50% slimmer and excel in a temperature range from negative 30 to 55 degrees Celsius. The F3 SGSR boasts the ratings required to ensure robust protection against oil and water. Configuration is easy using PC and smartphones, and these safety light curtains are ideal for diverse applications in the automotive, printing, and packaging industries. To learn more about this amazing device, visit mauser.com. It is said that education is the spark of innovation. In this spirit, we bring you our educational segment called David's Corner. Take it away, David. Thanks, Andy. Well, it's no secret that motors are one of my favorite topics in all of control automation. DC motors in particular, unlike their alternating current or AC counterparts, rely on some ability to change the direction of the electrical current inside the windings. If they didn't, then the polarization in just a single polarity would make the motor turn a half a rotation and lock in place, and it would not continue to rotate. The purpose of the brushes, which are on the sides of a motor where the contacts are, allow the electricity to be able to change directions every time the motor rotates a half a rotation. Meaning that the faster the motor rotates, the faster the alternation of electricity occurs. It's like a built-in feedback system. When we want to replace these brushes, we can often access them directly from the side of the motor. The carbon brush, is attached to the motor with a spring so that we can provide a constant force of application between the incoming electricity and the rotor of the motor. And these will wear out, much like a soft pencil eraser. And sometimes, as you can see from my fingers, they create dust. They can also create a lot of noise and sometimes even sparks, making them unacceptable for use in some applications. But allowing us to be able to replace the brushes means that we have a much longer service life on our motor and we don't have to replace the entire motor nearly as often. Andy, back to you. And that'll do it for this edition of Automator's Edge. Head over now to control.com and explore all of our exciting offerings, including our popular engineering forum, textbook volumes, and worksheets, all available for free from engineers for engineers. See you next time.